AITA for giving a fake name at Starbucks? Alright so I. 22 meters. Think this whole thing is ridiculous but my GF. 21F. Is really angry at me so here we go. I don't like giving my real name at places like Starbucks and similar stores where they shout out. Your name when the order's ready. I can't tell you why. I have a normal. Reasonably common name I like fine enough but for some reason it majorly creeps me out when a barista shouts my name through a room full of strangers. I guess it's just some. At least to me. Harmless quirk I have. So whenever I am at a store where they want your name I say it's Tom. That's literally the name I use. Nothing inappropriate or outlandish just plain Tom. I know I am meant when they call it as I always use the same one so there is no confusion or anything. They yell Tom I get my drink, food and it's never been a problem till now. A couple days ago I was at Starbucks with my new GF and ordered our drinks while she sat down. I gave them my fake name as always and when our order was ready and they shouted Tom I went and got it. My GF was a bit confused and asked me if I went and got someone else's order which is fair enough. So I explained the thing to her and thought that's that but she got really angry. She says it's really disrespectful to lie like that and that I am making everybody in the store out. To be creeps who will do something bad if they know my name which is not at all what's happening I. Just don't like when they yell my real name so I found a harmless way to get around that. But she can't see it like that. She thinks I am a pathological liar who is way too suspicious of everyone and I need to stop. I really can't see the problem she has. It's really not that deep. I don't think I am hurting anyone. Or am I? So yeah I am really confused by her reaction and asking myself if I am the asshole after all for some reason I can't comprehend. So Reddit AITA for giving a fake name? I do the same thing. I have a common name that can sound like many other names so the confusion just adds up. So I give a name I can easily recognize. For your GF to get so worked up over it is a bit much. Good thing is that she is a new GF and you didn't invest too much time in the relationship. If she nitpicks about everything so much, perhaps you two aren't a good fit. NTA. NTA I used to work at one of those places that asked for names. A few of the older regulars whose names I did know absolutely did not want their real names punched into the system because they were suspicious of the system and I actually enjoyed coming up with goofy fake names for them. They loved it. I wasn't upset. Most of those people working there don't know you. They don't care. They are there to do a job. And honestly they probably think having to ask for names is silly and just another dumb rule. Corporate is pushing on them. I always use Bob. The other day I was at a pizza place. And when they called out Bob. I and another dude went to the counter and reached for it. He looked at me and says. Oh. I always use Bob. I was cracking up. People give fake names all the time for restaurant reservations or food pickup. No one cares. Except your new GF apparently. NTA. This is one of the oddest posts I've seen here in a while. You are clearly NTA. The person you are seeing is making a huge deal about something that people have literally made a thing on the internet and make jokes about regularly. Going into Starbucks and ordering a drink for Voldemort to see if the Batista will say the name or call them, the Dark Lord, or, he who must not be named, for example. I personally think it's harmless. Your reasoning is a bit odd. But you aren't hurting anyone. People working at Starbucks aren't paid enough to care if you give them your real name. They just care that you get your drink and don't complain about it after. NTA. I'm with you. It's a harmless quirk. How does she jump from, I have a weird thing about my name being yelled in a room full of strangers to, you're a pathological liar. That said, 
Maybe she's had BFs lie to her in the past, it could be a trigger for her. Otherwise? Wild overreaction. NTA. This hurts absolutely nobody. You could tell them your name is Squirrel for all it actually matters. I have no idea how she made the leap to, you're a pathological liar, from this one exceedingly minor thing. Frankly, she sounds more suspicious of others and distrusting than you do. Maybe she should stop. I think your girlfriend is seriously overreacting. I used to do the exact same thing. I didn't want a room full of strangers knowing my name. Not that I thought they were going to do anything wrong. But it's just a personal thing and I don't need my name being broadcast to the whole store. My name is personal I share it with friends. So when I go to Starbucks or someplace, I give a fake name. But I do something really funny so the baristas knew it was a fake name and I was just being silly. Like I'd use Pierre or something like that. In fact in Barnes & Noble the baristas there started calling me Pierre whenever I came in and they thought it was the funniest thing. They knew it was a fake name. But it was like a joke between us. It was a lot of fun. Sometimes I would just say my name was, 22, so they would call out, 22, when my drink was ready. Like in the old days where you would just get a ticket with a number on it. The baristas didn't care. They would write down whatever I told them. And they thought it was funny brightened their day a little bit. But even if you don't use a silly name, who cares if you use a different name? I'd say your girlfriend definitely has issues. If I had to guess I'd say maybe she's been lied to a lot in her life. Maybe by her father. And so she's ultra sensitive to people who don't speak the truth even if in insignificant things. That would be my guess. NTA. LMAO what? I always give a fake name because my name can be relatively easily misheard and come out as a slightly different name and I hate being confused about if it's my drink or not. So I just go by Anna or something like that. When I was a teeny I used the name of my favorite actor for a while. Who cares? I don't really understand why you have a problem with your name being shouted but that's a problem. With a ridiculously easy solution. And you found that solution. Good for you. This is the weirdest hill to even care about. NTA. N Most convoluted and unnecessary solution. Legally change your name so that you're named Tom. Actual name. Last name. Then you're no longer lying. Or. You know. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're not hurting anyone. NTA. My name is difficult to spell and pronounce. So I've used a fake for as long as I can remember. In a decade plus, it has never caused an issue. Having worked in food service, I did not care what name you gave me. As long as you remembered it and didn't make my job harder. She's making an issue where there isn't one. NTA. She says it's really disrespectful to lie like that and that I am making everybody in the store out. To be creeps who will do something bad if they know my name. Does she really think they care? I mean, as long as you go and get the drink, food you ordered in a timely manner. They don't care if your name is Tom or James. Also, how she knows there are no creeps in that place. Does Starbucks now asks for criminal records or official identity documents of every client who is walking in? Nowadays with all the social media and the option to leave your profile public, I think GF may be a little too accustomed to over share personal data, but from the standpoint of anyone who works, work with data security, any unnecessary social sharing is oversharing by gf reaction looks like she is the one with trust issues my husband gives the name batman woman shrugging my youngest son will never give his name when he is waiting for a food or drink order he always tells them his name is sebastian people can never confuse sebastian for any other name and sometimes they even ask him how to spell 
it, which he does. Even when he calls in orders at places he tells him his name is Sebastian. Who cares what name you use when you are out in public? Chances are you are never going to see these people again so what difference does it make? If you want to be called Tom, so be it. If your new girlfriend is going to become so nippity about what name you use, I can only imagine how she will be later on in your relationship. She is showing a huge red flag to you. Please keep a mental note of this and other red flags she is showing. Because this is showing her true colors or some of her insecurities which can also be major red flags. Keep using the name Tom if that's what you want to use Tom. NTA. And she is getting upset over something really inconsequential. This would be a red flag for me. I guess NTA? I don't think it's disrespectful. None of the Starbucks employees will know or care if you use a fake name. But it's definitely weird that you think it matters in any way if a handful of random strangers hear a first name with no confirmation that it's actually your name. Sometimes if you have a common name, it can create issues with someone accidentally grabbing your drink. Then you have to wait for longer for them to remake it. Using a fake name is a helpful way of separating yourself. I've done this while checking in with hosts at restaurants too. Bless your GF's heart for being very trusting of the world in thinking that you should always 100% tell the truth to strangers. But none of the baristas would think it's creepy if you give a fake name. NTA. NTA. Tom is not the a-hole. Your girlfriend went and did some mental gymnastics with that stretch. Though, maybe it's times to evaluate her response to such a little thing. NTA. It's harmless. And you can have fun with it. GF sounds like a whack job. If she's showing her true colors when she's a new GF. This is a sign of things to come. Do you really want this? In Ta, her behavior is bizarre. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.